Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on solving quadratics by factorising. So there's going to be a few videos on this topic. We'll start by looking at uh, quadratic expressions where a equals 1. Uh, so by this we mean uh, the coefficient of x squared in the general form ax squared plus bx plus c. So if a equals 1 uh, then the expression simplifies just to x squared plus bx plus c. So let's have a look at this example. We have to solve the quadratic equation x squared minus 3x equals minus 2 by factorization. So I'm going to start by rewriting it, x squared minus 3x equals minus 2. So that should be an x there. Uh, so the first thing we want to do here is set the expression equal to 0. So we need to add 2 to both sides. So this is going to give us x squared minus 3x plus 2 equals 0. So adding 2 to the right hand side has just made that into a 0. And of course we have to do the same to the left hand side. So we end up with this expression. And now we have to factorise this expression. So to factorise it, if you've not seen our video on factorising, uh, then I recommend you watch that first. But here we're looking for uh, two numbers which multiply to give plus 2 and add together to give minus 3. So those numbers are uh, minus 2 and minus 1. So that's what's going to be in our brackets alongside x. So x minus 1, x minus 2 equals 0. So now comes the solving part. So uh, let's just have a look at one bracket at a time. So in order for this expression to equal 0, uh, at least one bracket has to equal 0, because when you multiply anything by 0, uh, you get 0. So if we take the first bracket, then let's say x minus 1 equals 0. Well, that's simple enough to solve. x equals 1. And if we take the second bracket, x minus 2 equals 0, uh, then we are left with x equals 2. So for any quadratic expression, you're always going to end up with two solutions to the equation. So in this case, our solutions are x equals 1, and our other solution is x equals 2. So the trick here is to spot that whatever is in the brackets, uh, the solutions will be the opposite. So if you have minus 1 and minus 2 in the brackets, the solutions are going to be 1 and 2. Uh, but you should note that this is only the case when a equals 1. So it becomes more complicated when a is not equal to 1. Uh, and then just as a side note, uh, these solutions, x equals 1 and x equals 2, these are known as the roots of the equation. Uh, so this means that for the graph of y equals x squared minus 3x plus 2, uh, this is where the graph will cross the x-axis. So in other words, y is equal to 0 at these values. So if you found this video useful and you want to put your skills into practice, then you can have a go with our online exam. This is available through our revision platform. So if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at. There's a variety of different question types and you'll get instant feedback on each and every one of them. So it's a really good way of keeping track of where you're going wrong, what your weaknesses are and how you can improve. So if you're interested and you want to take the test, then you can click the link below.